Hey guys, welcome to class. It's good to not see you, but I, you know, it would be good to see you, but I can't see you, so I can't say it is good to see you. Hey, if you hop into class, let me know that you are here. We are starting off with some really fun stuff today, and it's going to be an amazing class overall. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one. You're going to say thank you in all capital letters with an exclamation point and maybe even an emoji. I don't know. It's, it's going to be a good class. Again, if you're hopping on, let me know that you are here. Hello, Gideon. Good to see you. I miss you, bud. Um, Gideon, you stole a Nerf gun from us. Didn't give it back. Bodie, Lola, hello. Alex is in the house. Aiden, can Aiden join us? Aiden and Dad, they can join us. Have some fun with us today. It's gonna be, it's really gonna be a fun class, guys. I know I say that, and I'm usually never wrong about that, and I will continue to not be wrong about that, because today's gonna be awesome. All right, come on in, guys. Right. What have you guys been up to? I know we've asked that question a lot, so I'll kind of refine it. Um, has either one, if you're my my working people, uh, has work become easier possibly? Has it become a lot harder? As you can tell, my work has gotten a lot different. I won't say harder or easier, it's just different. Um, and uh, if you're in school, is it all online? Are you guys doing anything at home with like your family? Are you guys doing any family like, sort of education stuff? Are you guys reading a book as a family? Are you reading a book by yourself? What have you guys been doing? Let me know. In the last class, I heard some great answers. I heard a lot of people were playing some game called Animal Crossing. I don't know if that's popular with you. It might be. It might not. I don't know. Uh, hey, Evan. Chancy Boy. Love that you call yourself Chancy Boy. That's hilarious. Quinn, good to see you. And uh, Miss Stabler. How are you? Hello, hello. Again, are you, have you, are you guys reading any books? Are you just watching TV? Is it all YouTube in your household? Come on, guys. What are we doing to further our education in these times where we technically have some more time? I think you guys know a book I've been reading. Harry Potter joke, haha. -ha. All right, 20 seconds and we will get started, guys. I am not lying when I say this is going to be quite the start of the class. <coughs> okay. Just five seconds and we will get this party rolling. Okay. Let me get rid of this so it's out of the way. Oh, that's not what I want to get rid of. I shouldn't be in charge of things. Hey, Aspen. I don't, I can't believe it's you. You are unstoppable, hilarious. Hey, Griffin. All right, we got a, we got a fun class now. The whole gang's here. Hey, guys. All right, let's get started off. Everyone put your feet together, hands by your side, and we're gonna bow into our martial arts class. Can I bow? Good, from there, Academy Tenants with me as a reminder to train strong. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect, sir. Can I bow? All right, from there, guys, we're going to start off with um, kind of a bit of a warm up, um, but it's more just really jumping jacks. Our warm up, you'll know it's our warm up. Um, just some jumping jacks, but we're going to add some more things. So we're going to get two jumping jacks and then two punches. That's all we're doing for right now. So it's jumping jack, jumping jack, fighter stance, punch, punch. Back to your jumping jacks. Ready, steady, go. Jumping jack, jumping jack. Punch, punch. Jumping jack, jumping jack. Punch, punch. You can also rename these jumping jacks to like really cool things. Oh, I was only one jumping jack. Like the Amazing Aspens or the Go Get 'em Griffins. The, um, uh, Crazy chance, boys. You can have as much fun with these gym as you'd like. Keep it up, keep it up. I know I'm talking. I shouldn't be talking. I should be working. All right. Go ahead and stop there, guys. Excellent job. From here, let's go ahead and get a little bit more warmed up on the upper side of our body. Go ahead and get some neck rotations. Good. Other way. Make sure you don't skip any stretches today. We are working out, so you don't want to... Only have half of your body warmed up and ready to go. 
Uh, from there, I think we switch sides. So arm circles forward. And backwards. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. All right. Legs out. Reach in behind you. Side to side. Oh, very good. Keep you on your toes. Good. Up and down. Side to side. Can we try both? I'm horrible. Yeah, don't do that. All right. Legs out, reaching over, side to side on your own. Getting that full stretch in. Oh, that feels good. Okay, we already did the reach behinds. Now we're reaching out low, toe to toe, guys. Um, keep your knees straight as you're doing this. Don't have any bend in them. Um, as you're reaching, trying to grab on your toes, swinging from side to side. You also do the Batman touch if you'd like. All right, awesome. There, knees bent, hips side to side. Something, something, Spider-Man. Excellent. Keep it up, guys. All right, so we're going to hop up. Okay, it is time. You may have done this before. This may be your first time doing it. This, I think this is my first time doing 100% of it, so I'm kind of a, a new guy for this part. I am going, I'll stop shouting, I am going to set up COVID combat. Let's see how we do. Uh, again, when I start this, we got to be quick going through it. Um, keep you on your toes. Try your best. If you're faster than me, don't tell me because I'll be upset. If you're slower than me, let me know. Just kidding. All right, guys, let's do this. Ready, set, go. Thank you. 
Oh, the boss level. I don't know about this one, guys. We have to carry on out. Here we go. Okay, all right, buddy. Who makes Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh! Epic. You guys see what that says, Fusion Impact? It says you win! Good job, guys! All right, time to stretch. <laughs> okay, what a warm up. If you had fun, let us know. Um, we have another one we found that we did in the last class. Um, I won't spoil it, but it's a good time. All right, uh, go ahead and see seated angle stretch. Seated angle stretch. That was good. All right. Okay, up for the seated toe stretch, curling your toes underneath as you sit back on them. Not to cross though. Okay. All right, for here, from here we're gonna go forward for the cobra stretch. Try to bring the knot of your belt between your arms basically, okay? Go for it. Good, stretch it hard so we can work hard. And maybe we'll play hard. I think we already had it our play. That was our play time. That's fair. All right, up for the cat back stretch. Try to arc your back like an upset kitty. Good, everyone's favorite. We're gonna bring our knot about the ground. Arms, legs up, it's like you're skydiving. Go for it. You're going to roll around. We're going to get five bent leg back rollers, then five more with your legs straight on your own. Okay, when you're done, uh, go put your legs in front of you, but I'll be there as well. All right, go for it. Bent leg, then straight leg. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Now I'm going to straight leg. That is four, and that is five. All right, legs straight in front of me, both hands reaching forward, trying to grab on your toes. Good, reaching forward. Okay, uh, for this one, we're gonna take one leg behind the last class, so this leg in, okay? Um, bottom of your foot pressing into your leg. Right there, but still both arms dedicated to the leg in front of you. Excellent. Now we're going to switch sides. Good. This isn't a stretch you want to always, always do, but you can do it occasionally. If you want to always do it, you need to always do the one behind you as well. Gotta keep it even. Okay, from here, we're gonna go ahead and take our right leg over our left leg. Right leg over my left leg. Left leg, or left arm coming across, twisting around. Kind of like you're in a pretzel. Yeah. All right. Okay, so besides, same stretch, but now your other leg is um, crossing over. Your left leg crossing over your right. Right arm coming over. Good. Okay, for this one, we're going to sit back, clutching our knee or chest, switching every five or six seconds. Um, it's America. You have freedom of choice. Laugh track button. Good. There. 
one. Sit up, legs onto a big white beat. We're gonna get 10 side, two side stretches. On your own, go from side to side. Remember that this is not a race, it is a stretch. All right, 10 of them, go for it. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, last one, 10, sir. As you finish up, legs out even wider as you reach down the middle and side to side on your own. Okay, from here, bring the bottoms of your feet together for the butterfly stretch. This is our final stretch before we hop up and we start rolling through an amazing class. All right, go and hop up, guys. Shake it off with just 10 more jumping jacks. Go for it, no punches. On your own, 10 jumping jacks. Okay, okay. Okay guys, first thing I want to do with you guys, we're going to work on some sparring skills, okay? Um, now this is for everybody. It is the sparring skills intended for the white and yellow belts to get their stripes. However, like it's been explained a thousand times before, every rank is going to benefit from working on this. The, what, the worst that's going to come out of working on this is uh, you're going to rehone some skills and get better at stuff. Not, not really a bad deal, huh? All right, so if you want to get better, let's do this. All right, sparring stances. Um, from here, our leading leg is going to be doing a double side kick, okay? It's important that our knee comes back, but our heel pushes forward. Knee comes towards me, but when I extend it, my heel pushes out, not my entire foot for like, let's say, a round kick or a front kick. My heel specifically. So if I'm right here, my knee comes back, but then my heel comes towards you guys. Knee back, heel forward. That was a single side kick. The challenge is being able to have two good-looking sidekicks while keeping it up in the air. Because sitting it down in between is not a double sidekick anymore. That's just two sidekicks. We're doing a double sidekick. We're keeping it in the air. So I'll be in a sparring stance. Bring that leg back. Sidekick one, sidekick two, and I set my leg down. That was my double sidekick. Let's go ahead and see your guys's. I'm going to start a timer for 30 seconds. Go for it. Focusing on both legs. Switch every time. Side kick, side kick, I switch legs. Side kick, side kick, I switch legs. Keep it up, we're well over halfway, guys. Keep those amazing kicks coming with the legs every time. Right, we good class here. Okay, finishing up right about now. Um, we gotta add some more stuff onto it. After a double side kick, we're gonna bring our leg back down. We're then going to spin and add a side kick. The full combo is side, side, spin, side. You're going to be using both legs during this combination. Um, however, uh, for the brand new leg, it's just going to be the spin side kick, okay? Let's get a preview of it. Taking this leg, side kick, side kick, I bring my legs together. I swing around, spin, side kick. Try your best to look before you kick. I know I didn't just do that, um, but that's why I remember to tell you. All right, so. Kick, kick, I'm looking, turn looking, kicking. All right, that's gonna help with the aiming of your kick and make sure it looks better. We're gonna go 30 more seconds. We're gonna go side, side, spin, side. When you finish, you'll already be on that brand new side. So then you can pick it back up. Kick, kick, spin, look, side kick. Already on a brand new side and I can pick up. All right, here we go. 30 more seconds and go. On your own, side, side, spin, side, every side. Good, make sure that heel's coming towards me, okay? Like you're trying to hit me. Five seconds left now. Is that too early? Okay. That was a great example of the very first um, sparring skill. Let's go ahead and work on the second one. The second one, you're also in a sparring stance. I like the side view of this one, but we're going to do it right here for today. We're going to low block, arm comes back up. Chop once. Chop twice, finish them off with a side kick. 
Okay? Full combination. Let's do it. Low block, chop, chop, and side kick. That's your full combination. I'll switch my sides. All right, did you remember it? Go for it. Low, chop, chop, side kick. That is the full second sparring skill for the fusion and impact class for all ages, really. Block, chop, chop, kick. All right? Block, chop, chop, kick. We're going to get 30 more seconds. Switch sides every time. I want to make sure that we feel good about this kick. It is important that you're keeping that hand, those hands up so it's not... See that hand slipping back there? There's no reason to do that. It should always be tucked right there. All right, right there the entire time. 30 seconds, both sides. Go! Halfway, keep it up, guys. And great so far. Just say we're going to hand it over to Mr. Mershad. I don't even know what he has planned for you, but I'm sure it's awesome. It's written on the plan. It wasn't me, so I didn't care. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to spoil the end. Oh, we're done. I got so into my conversation, I didn't even look. Okay, guys. Awesome job with those sparring skills. Remember that if you were in my um, orange belt and above group of people, my black belt, to make sure that you should have been, uh, and continue well, to be adding some movement into those. Light on your feet, ready to pounce basically at your target. Awesome job, guys. I'm on Mr. Rashad. All right, all right. So, Mr. Adams, as normally, has to adjust the screen because I'm not six foot four anymore. All right. That's, that's fine. All right, so <laughs> from here, we're going to work some self defense in a minute. Uh, something to keep in mind is that, uh, you know, a lot of people in the beginning of all this are like, you know what, over the next couple weeks, if I'm stuck at home, I'm just going to work out, I'm going to eat good. I'm gonna... And now it's like six weeks in, and everyone's like, forget it, and I'm not doing anything. You guys are still hitting hard on these classes, but I want to challenge you one step further. If you're training twice a week, I want to challenge you to get one extra day stretch. Okay, so maybe you go on a family walk or whatever, you get back and you do a really good stretch to gain more flexibility, okay? So uh, that's just my big challenge for you guys. I'm stretching right now about four or five days a week, uh, which is up from what I was doing. And so I just wanna challenge you guys to do the same. All right, some self-defense. We're gonna go through our cycle self-defense in just a minute. First, we're gonna do some ground self-defense. What that means is I'm on the ground, maybe somebody else is on top of me trying to punch or whatever, uh, or maybe someone's st standing trying to kick me. But we're doing just a couple of things that are gonna help us uh, in this situation, okay? First, we did our break fall last, we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna sit. All right, so go ahead and have a seat, take a load off. All right, so first, if I've got somebody and they are on their feet, okay? So they're on, on their feet. If I'm sitting kind of like this, I really don't have any way of protecting myself if they try to kick me or if they try to jump on top of me to, to punch me or whatever, okay? So as I go, we talked about this a little bit last cycle, is I want to go to one side. It just so happens that my left leg is stronger than my right for kicking, so I like on this side. It doesn't really matter. Both your legs are very strong. So the movement we're going to work is a side kick first, okay? And what I want you guys to do, just to get good at both sides, is we're gonna do five side kicks on this side, and roll the other side five on that side. Let's do them together, ready? One, two, three, four, five, and the other side. Very important thing about a side kick versus a round kick is where my knee goes. And a round kick, my knee doesn't really move, and my foot goes behind my back and in front of me. And a side kick, my foot stays in front of me, my knee goes back and forth, okay? It's pumping, okay? So let's get five on this side, ready to go for it. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Now, we're going to assume that the person that is attacking us, all right, is, is trying to really hurt us. It's not my friend being silly. Someone's really trying to hurt us, okay? And there's a sweep we can do from this position where we hook our bottom foot, pull our bottom foot towards us as we push that side kick. So this foot would actually go behind their ankle. This foot would go right above the knee, okay? So I'm not smashing their knee necessarily. It's more of a drag takedown. So I'm here. I'm going to hook, bottom foot pulls, top foot pushes. All right, we're going to do that a couple times. So hook, pull, push. Good. Hook, pull, push. Now we're going to try to make it one smooth motion. Ready? And go for it. Hook, push. Good. Hook, pull, push. One more time. Hook, pull, push. Other side. All right, I'm going to go at it a little bit. I'm going to angle this time, maybe. Eh, that's fine. All right, so again, here. So I'm going to hook here. I'm grabbing with my foot the back of their ankle. I'm pulling that in as I push. So it's almost the exact opposite movement. One going forward, one going backward. So 
So again, hook, pull, push. Good. Hook, pull, push. Two more. Hook, pull, push. One more. Hook, pull, push. Okay. Now, from here, what we're going to work on is another kick that I can do from this position, okay? So maybe I'm trying to get up in base, and they stay right there close to me. And so what I'm going to do is whatever leg I have planted, I'm going to go up and I'm going to kick as in the wrong way, okay? So it's not the prettiest kick in the whole world, but sometimes self-defense moves aren't as pretty as forms, board breaking, uh, and sparring, okay? So again, I'm here. We, got, we talked about last cycle getting up in base, so I hope you know how, but I'm here. Let's plant one foot, opposite hand. I get up. Maybe as I start to get up, they engage. So then I replant this foot and I kick off of the other foot and then there I can get up to run away. So it's a fancy kick, get up in base, combo pack with cheese, hold the onions. So one more time. So I'm here getting up in base. And instead of pulling my foot back like I normally would, they engage. So I take this foot, I take this foot, I kick, I plant this foot, boom, kick me up and then running away. All right, very good. So we're gonna do that one more time. Then we're gonna go to this cycle's self-defense uh, drill. So again, I'm here, I get him, maybe I kick, he stumbles, I start to get up in base, he engages, or she, you know, and take this like kick, and then tug me back. All right, very good. So we get a retail. Hello. All right, so now we're gonna go through this cycle's self-defense, and this cycle's self-defense is off the hook punch attack. There's three distances that we're gonna be talking about. One is, very close. One is normal or perfect range, and the other one is just out of range, okay? So we're gonna go closest to longest, all right? So from here, self-defense position, I'm here. Hey man, I don't wanna fight with you. you know, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off in traffic. They come in with this big hook punch, but they don't know their distance, and they're just a little bit too close. So what I'm doing, protecting this ear, if it's coming this way, is I'm going to engage, I'm gonna come forward, I'm gonna bring this hand all the way to my back and hide my face under my tricep, and I'm gonna scoot in, okay? So what that means is he's already a little close. I don't want him to punch me in the arm, so I'm coming all at his shoulder and bicep. I'm coming very close. So I'm here, I'm gonna move forward, shield block. Now, I'm extremely close, so we're gonna use an extremely close hand technique called uppercut. We don't use a lot of uppercuts, uh, typically, but for self-defense, very close range, it's a very good technique going to the jawline, okay? So again, I'm here, shield block, uppercut. Shield block, uppercut. Let's do three more. Shield block, uppercut. I should be going forward, should I? Shield block, uppercut. One more time, move in, shield block, uppercut. Let's switch sides because they might punch me in this ear. So again, I'm here, I'm engaging in that short uppercut. Be careful, don't get too excited with the uppercut. I have seen people punch themselves in the face, which is not really funny. Well, not funny to them. Anyways, okay, so I'm here. Engage that shield block, uppercut. Good. Let's get four more ready. Shield block, uppercut. Three more, shield block, uppercut. Two more, shield block, uppercut. Last one, let's add a hi to it. A loud yell, ready? One and hi two. All right, that was short range. Now we're going mid range or perfect range. So this is where they're aiming perfect. If I move in, they're gonna hit me in the arm, which would hurt a lot as well. So I wanna be smart about this. So instead of coming in that way, I'm facing them, facing my chest the direction they would be uh, punching, and I'm putting both arms up called parallel block, okay? Looks like two football goal posts. All right, so again, I'm here. Let's say they're attacking this ear, so I'm gonna parallel block. Now, mid-range hand training for me is gonna be a back fist, okay? So, parallel block, back fist. Let's do that three more times, ready? Parallel block, back fist. One, two, one more time, boom, three. Notice something, let's go to the other side. I'm not just putting my arms up, what am I doing? I'm taking my arms and hitting what's trying to attack me, okay? So I'm attacking their arm, I'm not just blocking, I'm attacking, so I'm here, Boom, I'm hitting, then back fist. All right, let's do it four more times. Block, parallel block, back fist, parallel block, back fist, good. Uh, let's get two more. Parallel block, back fist, one more, let's add the high yacht in. Parallel block, hi -yah! back fist. Hopefully the yell does not terrify your pets. All right, now we have just out of range. So two things happen just out of range. Either they don't know their distance very well, or I'm able to get my head out of the way so it kind of passes by. So whatever ear they were aiming at, that one passes it to my other hand, and then I engage with my own hook punch. The reason this works is their back is basically to me at this point, so I'm able to pass that by and do my own hook punch. So whichever hand passes to the other hand does the hook punch. So the first hand goes first and last. So ready, let's go here. This hand's gonna pass it to this hand, hook punch. Good, if I can smooth that out, 
That's what I want. So pass, grab, punch. Pass, grab, punch. Good. One more time. All right, let's go to the other side. All right, so again, I'm here. I'm passing it by my face, blocking or, or grabbing or checking. Hook punch. Pass, grab, punch. Good. Pass, grab, punch. Three more. Two, three. Good. Two more. Pass, grab, punch. One more. This time, we're not going to yell. We are going to go super fast. Here we go. Ready? And there we go. Do we get it? All right. Very good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I had a great birthday yesterday. Appreciate that. All right. From here, what do we have next? I got sidetracked on my birthday. Uh, <laughs> forms practice. So we're going to go through forms practice. As we go through, this is my left side, okay? This is your left side. So just follow along mirror image with me uh, as we go through this, okay? So as we go through the form, right now the main focus is section one. No matter when we open back up again for your classes, don't worry about section two and three right now. Let's all just focus on section number one. So from here, feet are as wide as my shoulders, arms are crossed over my chest, left hand is on top, okay? From there, my left side goes first. I pull my hands back to my belt. My left foot steps back, low X blocking the eye. All right, now notice again, I'm not just putting my hands there, I'm pushing them down hard, okay? It's almost like two punches crossing each other. All right, so again, I'm here, pull back, left leg step back, hey low X block. From there, the front arm is stacked on top because that arm is gonna high block. Switch arms, punch once. Now I'm gonna turn and switch arms and punch to this side of the room, okay? Now we imagine from this position that somebody walked up and grabbed onto my shirt. They're holding onto my shoulder, my sleeve. I'm gonna take this arm to make them let go, bring it up and over, and then palm strike, okay, the follow up. All right, let's go through that section there, and then we're gonna add the next two moves. So I'm here, a little closer to you. Left side is gonna step back, low X block, hey Front arm high block, that's my right one. Switch arms punch once, turn this way with me, switch arms punch twice. They grab my shoulder, so I arm swing, palm strike. <clears throat> Excuse me, now from here, take my back leg, I'm gonna front kick, open this hand, now this hand becomes a target for this, hey elbow strike. All right, <clears throat> so again here, pull back, left leg steps back, low X block, yeah. Front arm is gonna drive up for the high block. Switch arms and punch once, turn your toes this way, punch twice. From there, arm swing, palm strike, hold it out there while you kick, open it, and then hit it with your elbow. Now, you may have noticed in other forms that our forms are symmetrical. That means typically whatever I do on one side, I do on the other. So I restart that combo starting with the high block. Then I switch arms and punch once. This time I turn my toes and I punch twice over to this wall. Pretending again, they grab my shoulder, arm swing with this one, palm strike with the other. Hold your hand out there while your back leg does a front kick. When you land, this hand gets hit by this back elbow. And that's the entirety of section number one. All right, so we're gonna go through this nice and smooth now. So stay with me. Pull back to here, step back, hey low X block. Right arm, the one on top is gonna high block, switch arms and punch once, switch arms and punch twice. I do my arm swing, palm strike, hold it out there, front kick, hey elbow strike. Then again, high block, switch arms, punch, turn this way this time, switch arms, punch, arm swing, palm strike. Hold it out there for your front kick, then bring your elbow back and hit that to your hand. Hey all right, all right. Now, question, you can type this in your answer bar if you'd like. What stance was I in for the entirety of section number one? The entire section number one, actually, and section two, uh, we haven't gotten there yet, is in what stance? Type it in, first one to type it in gets a virtual high five. And then it takes like a 10 second lag here, so I gotta wait to see the answer, and while I'm doing that, Oh, we're in for a treat. We've got our core drills today. Our core, uh, what's it called? Sit up city, maybe? I don't know. Sit up city. You like that? Yeah. I like that Sit a lot. Sit up city and you're the mayor. All right, <laughs> here we go. So I gotta wait, I gotta see what stance we were in. What stance was it? For 500 points, come on Griffin, what was it? Thank you. Oh, yeah, I got it. All right, good. Front stance is correct for 1 million points. Crosley. Good job, the Crosley crew. Excellent. All right, so when you think of front stance, well, yeah, all looked awesome. This is Vershad. Thanks a lot, Mr. Vershad. All right, so uh, when you think of a front stance, think of having to push something very heavy, okay? So I'm here, I gotta push something. So I'm in this very engaged stance, very strong stance. If you're in a front stance for any more than 10 seconds, your legs should start to shake a little bit because the muscles are trying to stabilize. That's how into a front stance you should be. So if you're ever in your stance and you don't feel it, 
not in your stance, okay? You want to be in that stance. So I want you to see, look at from my knee down to my ankle. See how that makes a straight line? If it doesn't make a straight line, then the weight is not where it needs to be, and these muscles are not engaged. When I engage here, now these muscles are engaged. I feel the stretch of my hip flexor, okay? And I'm engaged. As I am solid forward. If something ran into me, it would bounce right off, even a truck. I try it once. Don't try that at home, okay? So as we go through our form, strong, strong, strong front hands, okay? Now, it's always bad when I have to use the paper to remember how many sit-up drills we're going to do here. How much time? Oh, we got we to speed up a little bit. All right, so from here, go ahead and find a comfy spot to sit. Oh, Aspen's one said, I don't know. <laughs> gotcha. I don't know, Mrs. Merced, the other room. Never know. All right, so from here, we have, whoo, lay back bicycles. These are so comfy, so relaxing. You can start pedaling your bike. All right, we're going to go four. Where's my timer? All right, we're going for 20 seconds. All right, Aspen, got to keep them up. Ready? Go for it. We're pedaling the bike. Pedaling the bike. I don't even think Aspen has a bike, but we're pedaling your pretend bike. We already have five seconds burned off the clock, and this is easy. Round one, am I right? Good, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. We are cranking it out, 15 seconds down. We have three, two, one, excellent. High five myself, excellent. All right, from there. Nope. Alternating toe touches. So alternating toe touches are, they're so fun, is I'm here, my legs up, my arms up to the side, I sit up and touch this side, then this side. That was one. We're gonna get 10, which is gonna feel like 20, but you're amazing. Here we go, ready? And go for it. There's one, two, or <laughs> there you go, that's two on both sides. Three, three, four, four, five. Already halfway there. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Awesome job. I'll give you a little more time to finish up, just in case. I may have gone a little too fast there. All right. Oh, goody. We have crunches and then flutter kicks. Ho, oh, ho, crunches are the best. Because crunches are just little tiny movements. But little movements help these muscles grow. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to lift everything except your low back. So keep your low back on the floor and right back down. We're getting 20 of them. Ready? Get set and go for it. 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, almost there, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, very good. Flutter kicks, those sound fun, right? Yeah, okay. So flutter kicks, I'm going to have my legs straight, and they're little movements up and down, up and down, up and down. All right, we're going to go for 20 seconds. <laughs> Here we go. And go for it. Little movements up and down, up and down, up and down. You can go fast, you can go slow, either way. Good. <laughs> that was a small move hurt so bad, so ask me, just text me. Here you go, good, keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Let's go ahead and cobra stretch here. And then we just have one more quick drill to do with our core city. Sit up city, I guess, is what it is. Whew. All right, just one last one. Let's separate our one pack into a six pack with a stretch. All right, all right, here we go. Are you ready? No? All right, we're only gonna get five of these, okay? So, when I say grab, you're gonna have just your rear on the floor. So, you're holding like a cannonball, except your feet are not on the floor, okay? When I say release, you're gonna come back and hold. Then I'll say grab. Now, the entire time, the only thing on the floor is your booty, okay? So when I come back, okay, my low back, I guess, touches, but my shoulders don't, neither do my arms, my head, or my legs. We're only getting five. We can do this, all right? So, let's start from here. Put it up, hold on, and feet off the ground. Here we go, ready? So, release, grab. Take it nice and slow. Release, grab. It's already two. Release, grab. We only have two left. Ready? Release. Grab. One more time to release and then grab. Here we go. Ready? Release. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, and grab. You guys did awesome. Remember, 
you should congratulate yourself every time you finish one of these workouts because there's a lot of people that do not have the discipline to do what you just did. So high five. You guys are awesome. Can't wait to see you back in here soon.